Okay, guys, some quick directions over uh, what you need to do today. Uh, yesterday, we started a new warm-up drawing, which was Tony the Tiger, right? This is what the sketch looked like. Uh, once you have a sketch, build it up to a finished piece. The second thing we did is that we started this step-by-step -step drawing of anger. So, son las cosas que hicimos ayer. Empezamos un dibujo de calentamiento nuevo, Tony the Tiger. So, los, aquí está cómo está mi bosquejo. Y aquí está la segunda cosa que hicimos ayer, que es el dibujo de anger. Estamos siguiendo un video paso a paso, ¿verdad? Solo, si alguien no estuvo ayer, mientras que la gente, los, los estudiantes trabajan en su warm-up drawing, en su dibujo de calentamiento, ustedes necesitan uh, meterse a Google Classroom y uh, mirar el video que puse de lo que hicimos ayer, el del anger, y uh, alcanzarnos. If anyone was absent yesterday, you need to look on Google Classroom and catch up to us. Yesterday we got through the drawing part and today we're gonna color uh, anger, okay? So just a couple of things. Today we're using these pastels. Now these pastels are kind of like crayons, but they're way softer. Uh, they blend better. So uh, the only thing I can tell you is please try not to break them. Because once they break, they kind of start falling apart. Now, if you get to a point that it gets like really short, uh, you can peel off some of the paper. So, estos colores son colores, uh, se llaman oil pastels, pastel de aceite. Y lo que tiene son como crayones regulares de cera, pero estos están más blanditos. Y... Lo que estoy diciendo es que traten de no quebrarlos porque ya cuando se quiebran se empiezan a, a arruinar. Solo si llegas a un punto que no tienes suficiente color, aquí puedes pelarle poco del papel. No más que no se lo peles todo, no más poquito a la vez, porque si le quitas todo el papel, tiene, tiene una tendencia en quebrarse. So, if you're going to peel off some of the paper, just don't peel all of it off. Because if you do take it off, that's when it has a tendency to break. Now, in this drawing that we're doing, they're gonna start off with like a uh, red color and then they'll blend in some yellow. So I just wanna show you. So if you're gonna blend these colors, let's say you have red and then he says, do some of it light. So let's say he does some of it light and then he leaves some white. You would come in with your next color and then you would use a lighter color to blend in to the dark color. Hay unas cosas en este dibujo que colorean rojo y luego usan otros colores como el amarillo y los combinan. Solo lo que hace en el video que rojo oscuro y, y luego más clarito. Y luego con el amarillo entran y lo mezclan. Ok. So you use the yellow to kind of blend into the red, right? And that's how you use it. Now, sometimes you will get a lot of like of the dark color on your light color. And I'm gonna leave some of these uh, post-it notes and you can use that just to try to clean them off as best as you can, okay? Voy a dejar una de estas uh, notitas para que tú puedas usarlos para limpiar los colores, especialmente los colores claros. Y le quites el color que no necesites, okay? Y lo ya último, ya nomás tiras estas hojitas, okay? When you're done with them, you just throw these away. Now, the one thing you will notice is that this is like kind of messy. So watch your hands, you know, watch what you're touching. And at the end, what we're going to do, I'm gonna give you a cover sheet. The cover sheet is gonna go with like, let's say this is my drawing. The cover sheet is gonna go on top of this drawing that way you can put it in your portfolio that way so it doesn't get on everything. Al final de la clase vamos a tomar una hoja limpia y usarla como protector para cuando pongas esto en tu portafolio que no manche todo lo demás porque este color, si tú lo tocas, se pega en todo. Yeah, once you start messing with that, you know, like, it starts getting everywhere. So be very careful, use a cover sheet, and that way you can put it up that way. Uh, this is the point that we got to in the first class. So if you get to this point, you're good. And we will continue and finish these tomorrow. All right. 
Este es el punto que llegamos. Solo si pueden llegar a este punto muy bien. Y luego ya mañana continuaremos y terminaremos el dibujo. All right, have a good class, guys.